Hello and welcome to my Elite Dangerous Odyssey. We're in Alpha Phase 1. It's like the third day of Alpha. And uh, we're going to run out to a planetary settlement. Thompson Horticultural Estate. So just to see what's out there and probably collect some materials and, and things. So uh, stay tuned and we'll head on out there. And we'll catch the uh, Apex elevators to the Adder, the ship that we'll be uh, riding along in the taxi to the location. And it's really neat to see the ships from uh, the uh, floor perspective or the ground perspective. Unlike the base game uh, in Elite Dangerous, we're not piloting this ship. We're riding. We're a passenger. This is a taxi. So we're going to sit back and enjoy the ride. If you watch my other videos, you know I enjoy the bright side or sunny side up on my uh, planetary landing.
and you might have noticed that it said a mission update. We actually took a mission to power on the station here, but uh, that hasn't been working quite so well in the early parts of Phase 1 Alpha. So um, we weren't really equipped. This, the suit that we have does not have uh, the tools necessary to open up the power plant. So we're just going to be looking around and gathering some materials and things like that. And you'll notice in the bottom left-hand corner, you have an energy uh, meter and you also have an oxygen meter. Uh, the oxygen is produced through the suit and, and the helmet and the uh, helmet's energy will slowly decrease until we have to add an additional uh, power module or a new power module and we can find some of those around the settlement too. And the panel that you see, it's a black panel, uh, it would have a number there, so the security level that it takes to get into the power building. Well, the power's out, so there's no access or no uh, security level that uh, we can have to get in and what we need is the Maverick suit which carries the uh, arc cutter and you would cut that red panel and you could charge it up and get into the building. Well when you start um, Odyssey you only have a, a pilot suit and it does not come with the arc cutter so you would have to build up enough credits uh, to get that uh, suit upgrade. And this is a container where you can take stuff. And uh, now what I have started understanding as I've collected stuff and gone to different settlements, they consider when you take, take materials out of the storage units as theft. So the faction at other stations will attack you because you have taken some of their stuff. So just keep that in mind. Now this one has a key combination. If you can get into those uh, monitors, those terminals, uh, sometimes it will give you the combina combination to these uh, containers. And then some of these containers do not have a combination lock on them. So you can go ahead and open it and get materials. Now you need the materials for uh, upgrading your suit and your weapons and things like that. So you need this stuff, but uh, it can turn the factions against you as you collect them. Now, if you're running missions, you can get uh, materials in return uh, instead of credits or with credits, like less credits but with materials added, uh, where they give those to you. So that's probably the way to do it if you don't want to get the negative reputation. So they start attacking you when you show up at these settlements. Now this is a suit recharge station or socket. Now the power is off, so you're not able to use it. But inside some of the buildings, when they have power, uh, you can use your multi-tool to uh, transfer power from the station into your suit. And 
and uh, if you cut those red panels off then you use the same tool to transfer power from your suit into the panel which opens the door so this is just one of the areas if if this was turned on that you could use Now, as you notice in the top left, there's a radar and it's showing a terminal that's in front of us. Now, this one might be in the building that we're facing is why we're seeing it. There's some that's outside, some that's inside. You can turn on some of the ones outside. Now, when the power's off, uh, a lot of times you can charge some of them, uh, but that doesn't always work or it didn't in the beginning when I tried to uh, make that work. So uh, you would be looking for these uh, terminals. There's also a lightning bolt, which would be that uh, suit power socket, or uh, it could possibly be a container that has the uh, energy modules. And on that uh, radar you see to the right, there's these three little uh, vertical items and that's ammo so that would be like an ammo box or an ammo refill or something like that I do spend a lot of time uh, wandering aimlessly, it looks like. Uh, there's no real maps set up. Uh, I think in the terminal there might be a map, but uh, uh, it's really hard to find things that you're looking for. You might have noticed my power uh, percentage had changed. I had left the game and came back. I was still trying to figure out what is going on. But even after having a uh, upgraded suit, it's still not easy. And because, I guess because the upgraded suit and the uh, weapons and the tools that you currently have, there's a whole lot more NPC or NPCs that are at these stations and they just start shooting at you. So uh, it, uh, it's, a, it's a hard game. Detected. And hopefully Frontier balances it out because even when the threat level is zero, uh, you can have three to five NPCs shooting at you and you're pretty well dead as soon as they start shooting because uh, you have to turn on your shields prior to that and it would really be nice if your shields would just automatically come up if you're being shot at. So, uh, and when you're not being shot at for a period of time, they shut themselves off. And then you could ha maybe have an override if you wish. But for the non-combat players, it's, it's a tough game. Hopefully they sort it all out. Now here you see there's materials that you can pick up. And you'll see where it says four out of five, so you can pick up one more. Or it says oh, out, uh, zero out of two or whatever, and so you could pick up two. Uh, but these are the items that the faction would consider you stealing from them. So it will raise the threat level 
by taking this material. Detected. You probably had noticed that I didn't take any of the materials. Well, this was like the first time or two that I came out to a settlement and I really didn't know what was going on. Uh, those materials do help you and you can trade with the bartender back at the stations for some of the materials that you need. So it's probably a good idea to take them, but again, it raises your threat levels with those factions when you steal, they consider stealing from them. And there's many bugs in Alpha uh, because it's Alpha. You know, that the first time that uh, it was released to uh, testers, and uh, I'm, I guess I'm a tester because I joined the Alpha. And uh, so you're going to see things that uh, need to be fixed. So uh, you'll see things like that in, during Alpha. And at the bottom of the screen, you'll see where they're saying in about five minutes, they'll apply updates. So it could kick you off. Now, if you leave the game and come back, then it'll want to uh, load those and install those updates. Now, these are med kits. And it's the same kind of med kits that you would get when you're at the Pioneer Shop. And uh, I picked up like 10 med kits and 10 power. Uh, modules. So uh, you can pick up one at a time here and you can use it to uh, add to your health, add to uh, your inventory. But it's when you press the alt key and you see to the on the wheel, to the right you'll see the med kit and to the left you'll see the power module. So uh, that's what you're adding here. Well, I think we'll end this video here. You kind of get an idea, and uh, we're out at Thompson Horticultural Estate. So you got to see it, especially during the uh, sunny or the bright side. So uh, it was a little easier to see when it's dark. It's not quite as easy. So um, I appreciate you coming along. Make sure you catch more of our videos. We'll try to do more planetary settlements and, and orbital orbital stations and uh, just where you get to see more of what uh, Odyssey has in store and what can offer you. So until the next video make sure you subscribe that would really help me out. Make sure you find our channel GFM underscore RDG where there's over 1600 more videos and all kinds of stuff like Elite Dangerous even the main game and uh, Half-Life Alex and Fallout 4, VR, and Star Citizen, and uh, Ultimate Fishing Simulator, and Subnautica, and there's like 17 games that we're doing. 
So until the next video, and we're also on two platforms. We're on Rumble.com and we're on YouTube. Uh, we get more help from Rumble, so if you'd watch our videos there, it would really help us out even more. So uh, until the next video, thank you for watching. Goodbye.